So next we're going to show you Garby Hall, which is one of the living facilities here on campus. So also in this building is the IT Center, it's the Informational Technology Center, so if you ever need help with like a computer or if you ever need help with like your email or anything or something's not working, you're more than welcome to come here and get help. Also, Upper Arrow University does have a contract with Dell, so I think you are allowed to get some money off of like a Dell computer, so if you haven't bought a computer yet for college, great place to utilize and get a gift card off of it. <laughs> Next, we're kind of going through the lobby of Garby Hall. So Garby does have a lot in addition to it being a resident hall, but this is a nice hangout space for students, open anytime. So Garby also has a computer lab with a printer. All residential halls and um, Buildings. Yes, major buildings on campus, if you will, have printing and a computer lab. So printing is included in your student fees. Yeah. So it's free. <laughs> and then there are some classrooms in this building. A lot of the exercise science classes are located in here. So each floor on, in all the residential halls have a kitchenette. So here's the, one of the ones in Garby. These are open pretty much all the time. You just have to bring your own pots and pans and obviously food if you want to cook. But that's a great resource just if you're not feeling the food in the calf for some reason or you want to cook for yourself. So as you can see, there is a fridge and freezer as well as a microwave in here. This is great if you don't have these in your own room, but you are allowed to have either a mini fridge or, and or a microwave in your own room as well. So in Garvey Hall, keys are really like dominated to get into like your room and all that. In the South Villages, it's very ID heavy, so if you live in Garvey, it's just another thing you have to keep up with. So each floor is locked, and then each room as well is locked. So that just helps if you want more privacy and less foot traffic on each of the floors. So there is a laundry facility located on every single floor of the residence hall. The laundry is free, so you don't have to bring like any quarters or anything, you just have to bring your own Tide Pods. So in Garby, there are community bathrooms on each floor. So you do have to share with the other residents on your floor, but they do get cleaned by Upper yeah, Iowa staff. Yeah, they get staff. cleaned twice a week, so it's really sanitary. Yeah. So this is our showroom in Garby, but this is the typical double size room. So the room comes with two beds, kind of this bed frame. You can get your bed lofted, like it shows here. It is $100 to rent for the year, but that is a nice option to have. Also, the wardrobes come with the room, so that's your closet. And then each person gets a set of drawers, as well as a desk with the chair. So you do get a lot to this space, and it is a nice size room, even for sharing between two people. This is where most of the freshmen live, so if you're gonna, this is like where a lot of people make their friends freshman year. Also in Garvey, you are allowed to control your own heating and cooling, which is a really big thing that most people look for. Um, in the South Villages, it's geothermal, so you're not really allowed to control your own heating and cooling, so that's another great thing about Garvey, you are allowed to control that. And there are different size room options, so this is the double, but you can get a single if you want. That's more expensive, but you do have your own space. I think we would both recommend, though, it is nice having a roommate, especially your first year, just to have that built-in friend, if you will, and then you can kind of decide from there what you want your living situation to be.